Welcome back. Hairstyles Tori Keane is with us this morning to demonstrate some simple yet stunning communion hairstyles that you can create for your own little one at home. And we've got two styles. This is our braided beauty. So tell us exactly what you've been doing on Kaylee. So for Kaylee, I did this style for people who, you know, want to have a little curl, have the child's hair down. So what I did was I pin curled to begin with, Karen, because a pin curl lasts way better. Now that's, they've just been taken out, so it's really curly. So you've so tonged it and then pinned and it. Pinned and it. ideally, Kaylee would have uh, slept with those yes, in overnight. Yes, yes. And then, yeah, definitely. And then when you take out the pins, then you're left with these curls. The whole point is staying power, Karen. Yeah. Because for us, if we curl our hair, it generally lasts the day. With little girls, it kind of drops very quickly. Their Just hair is very so soft. Fond. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and it's not dry like ours from colour and, and over-processing. <laughs> so, yeah, so I did the pin curls first. Um, sprayed in a little bit of heat protection spray, which is important. And then you can do this either. Now I'm going to do a French braid just because I'm a bit fancy because I'm a hairdresser. Yes. But... If you can't master a French braid, you can just do a normal little braid. And it's just, you know, I love this, Karen, because it's still pretty and girly. So pretty. It's not too grown up. You don't want them looking like little brides. And you would always recommend the girls have their hair off the faces. Do you know, it's so important, Karen, because, again, their hair doesn't last. They want to play. They want to mm. mess with their friends. They mm. want to be able to run around. I've seen it before with mums being like, don't be moving your head, don't be yeah, messing your hair. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's their day. So let them be kids and just, even if it's a, a hairband, you can get beautiful little diamante hairbands and things like that, flower crowns, that sort of a thing. So I'm just bringing the little braid back here. Um, and then I'll show you the back of it now. Good that you can do the pin curls the night before, because I think anything that you can get done before the panic of the morning sets in. Especially if you're you have yourself and exactly. other kids to get ready, yeah, you know. Absolutely. And it's such an oh, early start. For you. Oh God, I forgot yeah, about my I lovely know. assistant. That's it. That's I'm going to turn for. Kaylee this way just so that people at home can see. So I'm literally just bringing it across the back. No frills. If you want, you can twist it into a little bun. You could loop it around each other. But I have a lovely little hair comb here. Thanks, Karen. Um, and I'm just going to pop the hair comb So in. are girls not really wearing veils anymore? Do you know, veils, it's touch and go. Veils were in probably maybe two to three years ago. I haven't seen many veils no, for this year. Now, they're available. Than, yes. Um, but again, I think it's people are going back to the more of just being a little girl, yeah, you know. And you can still put in a bit of sparkle. Now, I... I I, I definitely didn't have veils this morning, so I wanted to show off yeah, the hair. Yeah, of course. But, I mean, it's not that they're... And that's not too heavy in Kaylee's hair. No, no that that's would be nice annoying and light. That's nice and light. Very so you can get, nice. You can get these headpieces anywhere. These ones are Jules' bridal ju jewellery. She does lovely little pieces. Um, Pretty. So that is Kaylee's done. So that's our braided beauty. Braided Here's beauty. our braided bun so now this on is, Callie. So this is Callie. So this is for people that don't want to use heat on their child's hair. This is a really good hairstyle for every hair type. Curly, straight, short, fine, thick. So this is a really good one because you're still keeping the little short bits in that might be around the front with the braid. Mm -hmm. And then we're tucked in in the back with the bun. So I'm just going to spin Callie around, sorry, for a second just to show what I've done so far. Very nice. Okay, so we just brought the braid across the back and I'm going to do the same now on the other side. Again, you can do it with normal plaits. And or you can Callie do has loads of hair, doesn't she? Callie has fabulous hair. Look it's at this so redhead. Thick. And her Gorgeous. hair is naturally that straight. I didn't put a straightener or anything on it, Karen. And you think kind of work with the child's natural texture a lot Definitely. of times. So if there's a kink in it, curl it. If it's straight, yeah. just leave it be. Yeah, because nine times out of ten, if it's straight, it's not going to hold the curl for the day. Mm -hmm. That's why I did the pin curls. It's kind of the only way it might last. Mm -hmm. um, and work with their natural hair. If their hair is naturally curly, leave it down and curly. You know, I just think it's beautiful to... Yeah to show off the way they naturally are. And the, the way you've done that bun, how do you have it so perfect? You haven't used like a little um, sponge no, thing or anything, No, there's no sponge. That's just Callie's own hair. Mm, so that. when I spin her around now, I'll, I'll explain how I tucked it under. So I just, I pulled her hair back into a ponytail um, and then I went back up upon myself. So when the ponytail was in, I brought it back over okay. and then just pinned it in. Very nice. So it makes it nice and smooth. So I'm just going to finish off. Is there an elastic? There's a little green elastic there, Karen. Okay. Thank you. I could get used to having an assistant. I know. I'm available. Oh, yes. I don't work Friday, so I can come with you. You talk too much, though. Friday. I wouldn't get any work done. She I know. talks way too much. <laughs> I'd be so distracted. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then when you're doing the back bit, I'm just going to turn Callie around. Okay, and then when you're doing the back bit here, pin your braid where you kind of want it to start on the bun. So I'm just gonna stick a little pin in there, okay? I'm gonna bring this around and tuck it underneath. 
And then you'll have your little loose ends from the two braids. So I'm going to pin them in. So pretty, isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? And then, and then are you going to add some jewellery to this as well? I think so, Karen. I have a few lovely little bits there. On, what there. bits do you want? Um, I think I'm going to do... I might do the individual pins. OK. Because we can dot them in through the braid, like this. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. And just, we'll pretty it up. Oh, they're lovely. <laughs> the girls are like, oh, look. So you can I bring them it. all the way down. And it just... You have blows. been amazing models. Haven't Thank you they? so much, Callie and Kaylee, for coming into us. Tori, beautiful stars that oh. any mum would, you know, They're do well to have a good really start. Yeah, I think are. so. Yeah. Once you give yourself a bit of time in the morning, Tori, great to see you. Okay, mm. the way that those hats. So okay. excited. Uh, no, stay we are, girls, stay we are. Okay. Because coming up after the break, we're going to be getting some advice on how to make the perfect Easter Sunday lunch. Some roast lamb. Stay tuned. Now you can say bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>